Hello fellas, here I am. I'm a zebra mussel. Wow, I've seen those before. That's an invasive species, common in the Mississippi. Yeah, they're called Dreisetta polymorpha, I think. Did you know that zebra mussels reproduce sexually and at a rapid pace, and they can reproduce up to a million eggs in one year? <laughs> Got another bite. It's a fact sheet. In 1790, or 1769, a German zoologist named Peter Simon Paulus described them in screams of southern Russia. They were introduced and dis detected in Canada and North America in the Great Lakes in 1988. They soon spread to a number of large and small waterways, including Lake Sycamore near the Great Lakes and Mi the Mississippi, Hudson, Ohio, Tennessee, Colorado, Arkansas, and many other rivers. I get it. Their shells are striped, kind of like a zebra. And they're often confused with the quagga mussel. There are three main periods in the zebra mussel life cycle. The larval, juvenile, and adult stages. The larvae are planktonic, meaning they float in water during the first three stages of their life. Trachophore, straight-hinged phalager, and umbonal phalager. The pedophalager is considered by some to be the final larval form with the plantigrade as a stage between the larval and juvenile. I'm a consumer. I feed on algae by filtering water through a siphon. I can filter up to a liter per day. This is why we generally live in pipes, because of the constant supply of water and food flowing by. By eating algae and other plants, this makes me a herbivore also. I do not have any specific predators, but several species of fish and diving ducks eat my friends on occasion. I can use my muscular foot to move to battle the river flow using endomosis. One interesting thing us zebra mussels can do is when we can last several days out of water if conditions are moist and humid. Another thing zebra mussels can do is they can attach to hard surfaces like boats, docks, and platforms, and they're very difficult to remove. This is a common trait of saltwater mussels, but it is not typical of freshwater mussels. Mussels and clams are edible, but they don't provide much meat and they don't taste very good. Zebra mussels affect natural ecosystems both directly and indirectly. The greatest direct impact is caused by their feeding habits. They are filter feeders and lake, lakes present unique ecological systems. So when zebra mussels disrupt these systems, the filter feeders process diminishes microscopic organisms necessary for a healthy food web. As we started, stated earlier, zebra mussels attach themselves to hard search surfaces, but unlike other species, they will also easily attach to native mussels. This behavior, called biofouling, is greatly reduced native mussel population. Another negative impact they have is that they commonly grow too large for the pipes in which they live. Then they clog the water intakes of water supplies in hydroelectric companies. This is an expensive problem because the pipes deliver drinking water and water necessary for jobs such as cooling water to power plants. There are very few ways to control zebra mussels from populating even more. While biologists are testing many different types of chemical controls such as chlorine, bromide, and mollicides, they are finding that these solutions are only temporary and also can affect other marine organisms. Recently, a potassium chloride treatment in a freshwater region in Virginia was a success. Alternatives to chemical control include hand scraping, ultraviolet light, and power washing, but these control methods are often expensive and slow. Another small way to help out is to clean plants and algae off of boats and docks. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot you can do. Therefore, zebra mussels are, for the most part, here to stay. I'm taking over these waters. Okay, let's go. One interesting wow, thing, wow, wow. a zebra mussel. Ali! Ali! Stop moving! Sit down, Ali. You're making him nervous, that's why. You Sit turd. Down. 
my mom's eggs and my dad's sperm came together to make me. There are three main periods in the zebra mussel's life cycle. The larva, juvenile, and adult stages. The larva and the plankton, meaning they float in waste during the three stage, first stages of their life, trot, tr the larva, juvenile, and adult stages. Stages, The larva and plankton, meaning they float in waste during their three stages of their life. Tro... I can't... Seriously, I can't... I can't. Trochophore! The larva are planktonic, meaning they float in waste during the three... In, during, the larva and are planktonic, meaning they float in waste during the first three stages of their life. Trophophore is straight... The larva and the plankton, meaning they float in waste. Nope.